This morning, I felt really called to start my morning off with meditating and lighting one of my abundance candles to help me with some of my manifestations that I'm working on. And then I did my favorite healing mantra, which was really quick. It's only 11 minutes, but it's so powerful and always leaves me feeling really cleansed. Next, I decided to pull some cards because I do always like seeing the guidance that I receive. Then I went ahead and made celery juice on this particular morning. My fridge was completely frozen, so I couldn't get a fresh cup of water. So I didn't have lime water, which lately has been my go-to. I'll start the morning off with lime water, but celery juice in itself is incredibly healing. It does help with building your hydrochloric acid in your stomach. And literally it's one of the reasons why my health has become as good as it is. I firmly believe in celery juice and I talk about it often, so you may have seen it. But here I decided just to show you me making a reel for Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will definitely see this being posted eventually. And then to get the full benefits of celery juice, you do wait about 30 minutes before eating. So I kind of started eating this already, but I made myself oatmeal with cinnamon, brown sugar, and apples. Monday through Friday for me is definitely a balancing act as I do work a corporate job and I have meetings different times throughout the day. And then I do have my candle business as well as my Reiki business. So I needed to finalize an order so that I can bring it during lunch. And I was bringing these candles to a local store that does sell my candles in store. But everything you see here, I do hand make myself. Everything is made in small batches. My candles are vegan. There are hidden crystals in them. I Reiki charge all of my products. And they're definitely something I'm really proud of and excited about. And I just can't wait for the business to continue to grow. I thought I would take you guys with me as I dropped off the candles. So it's at the Riverside Square Mall in New Jersey. Here is a display of our candles. As you can see, she's only down to three, so I brought her everything. But this is the Zen Shop in Riverside Square Mall. And there's a lot of cute stuff in there. I think the shop is so gorgeous. And you could just see like where it's kind of located. So if you ever go to the Zen shop in Riverside Square Mall, definitely snag a candle. One of the things I know about myself is that when I'm sad, I really want sugar and like comfort foods. And today I'm definitely really feeling sad because of things going on in my life with like work. Um, and I decided to stop on my way home to get myself a scone and a cookie from this place that makes gluten-free baked goods so i'm gonna have that and then i thought well let me also get something nutritious so i also got myself a bowl because i do need to eat i haven't you know always been eating enough but i have a meeting in about nine minutes that i need to get home ideally for i was thinking about like getting myself some green tea as well but you know what that would be sugar overload and i really don't need to do that okay the whole point of this and this challenge is to get my health back get back on being healthy, reduce, you know, some of my sugar intake, but still have some balance. So that's what I decided. I decided I'm gonna wait. Maybe I'll make myself some tea, but I will be jumping on this call in a few minutes. I just need to get home first. And yeah, the candles are at the store. I got to meet the owner, which was great because I haven't met her in person yet. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling really sad today. And even last night, I just keep having moments where I just start crying or like tearing up and feeling really emotional, which is happening now. So just allowing myself to ride out the emotions and just trusting that everything's gonna work out and it's all gonna be okay. And it's all gonna be even better than what it might be right now. And just having a little bit of faith so yeah i'll show you guys what i bought once i get home this is the bowl that i just got i figured give me some nutrients there's a lot of good things in it like butternut squash some rainbow swiss chard beets pumpkin seeds so really good stuff really yummy but i cannot wait to dive into this pear scone and then this chocolate chip cookie mm. i'm really hungry though so let me go ahead and eat this Earlier, I had a few meetings when it came to my day job, so I took those and had a phone call with a friend, caught up with her, and I wanted to go to the gym to lift, but I get really weird about the timing. 
my preference is to go to the gym earlier because if you wait too long it does get really busy and packed so i'm just gonna pause on going to the gym and tonight i'm just gonna do a yoga flow in my office i'm not gonna show you guys around the office because it is quite a disaster not clean i'll just show you the video that i do choose to do yoga with tonight but I wanted to do something to just help move energy in my body because I have been feeling really sad the last two days and um, just trying to shake things up you know what I mean get myself to feel remotivated again I think I'm going to pick this first video to try this would be my first time with this youtuber I normally like boho beautiful yoga or yoga with Adrian but we're gonna give this a shot and I will let you know how it goes. That was definitely a slow yoga video, but it felt really good to just slow down and hold poses for a while. And it was a lot of like hip opener poses, but everything was so gentle and it really wasn't a lot of movements. So I'm happy that I did that. I kind of am craving a little bit more, we'll see. But I want to try to make something new tonight, which is gonna be some crispy air fryer tofu. So right now I am looking at some recipes and then I'll take you into the kitchen and show you what I make. I am not proud of it, but it is 9.35 p.m. and I've just finished cooking dinner. This is definitely later than I'd like to eat. I would definitely like to eat earlier in the evening, but it is what it is. I cooked us some food. I'll flip the camera around and show you what I cooked. Ignore my air fryer. These are the meals that I cooked. This is mine and this is my husband's. And it's so crazy to say that word husband. I just got married on November 11th and I have a husband. So we both have rice, chickpeas, spinach, mushroom. His is with steak and mine is with tofu. This is the first time I've ever made some crispy tofu. For the rest of the night, we're just gonna watch some Netflix, eat our food. I'm gonna unwind, and I do like to unwind at night with just light shows to help me get ready for bed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. If you are enjoying this video and you're excited about this series, please let me know in the comments. I was thinking that this is literally a really good time to just make videos like this as we are going into the holiday season. Like I wanna be here to help inspire and motivate you to find that balance between doing things that work for your health, but then also doing things that you enjoy and not being extreme to either degree. So today was definitely a day where I had a bit of balance. I had that cookie and I had that scone, definitely made with a lot of sugar, but I started the morning off with celery juice, right? So finding the balance, there are things that I really did wish that I also incorporated into today, like more water, but it's not about being perfect. It's just about doing something to help myself become healthier. So yeah, I'll definitely take you guys along on another day. But thank you for watching and feel free to hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I will see you in the next one.